There's a side that you're gonna rice, matoke, waru, ugali. And <laughs> That's Yo. a side for the big fish. <laughs> <laughs> so it's listen, like, hey. You basically need a lot of saliva if you eat Ugandan food because how are you gonna eat? How are you gonna eat all this food? Chok me daddy That's cuisine, true. bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's the episode title. <laughs> Chok me daddy cuisine. So, Hold up, let me, let me not the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> I asked the cab driver because you're complaining every time you go eat somewhere the, always we're like getting takeaway because you can't finish the food <laughs> so I asked the cab driver like hey Ugandans your portions are mad he's <laughs> like you know yeah we grew up poor so when you get money you eat all you can overcompensate <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> 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 yeah. so it's like so how many times a day do you eat when I'm rich anytime <laughs> when I'm poor when I can <laughs> Oh my I god. Was so, oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Like it's like three That's meals a day, four meals a day. No, no, no. Here, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Even after this trip, I'm going to eat. <laughs> so how many <laughs> wait, let me Google. How many stomachs do you gonna uh, people have? <laughs> Over 26. This is the bag of the This is the crunch club. Over 26. The mics are cool. Now when you watch it, you'll understand. What up? My name is Chuck CV, you mastermind. <laughs> you are men. <laughs> the beautiful Mariah is around. What's the amazing Moss is around. It's time, it's time for me to get a new adjective. Right? I'll, I'll get an adjective. Yeah, okay. leave, leave, leave the that light skin Moss. And we, are, we were supposed to be on episode 12, but apparently we are on episode 13. 13. Come on, Mike Chuck! <laughs> yeah. And of course, the whole gang is around, bro. At least Muluana ko episode ten. Doggy. Everyone's here. Woo! Listen, Ta- dude. Tafari um, no Leo. There's right. oh, Tafari is going to get married. Yo, <laughs> 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 I'm in a small meeting. I'm coming. Yeah, when I do a summer, got married. Glory. But you know, it's crazy. Um, I just saw one of my friends. Um, is pregnant. Mm-hmm. She had her baby. Is it baby shower, baby reveal, whatever? One of the baby. It's it's a baby reveal. Gender reveal. Oh, gender reveal. This is a blue nappy. It was like baby reveal. Uh-huh. That's how I was like, pop. But um, this is someone uh, I've known for maybe since I was in second year. Mm-hmm. It just freaks me out each time someone I've known when they were younger. <laughs> when they're pregnant, yeah. I'm like, what the? Yeah. Chuck, you need to be able to do that. 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 I was maybe in, in, in campus. <laughs> second year. Like, well, you didn't make it past that. <laughs> <laughs> but then you realize constantly my campus stories which are second year. Nothing past that. I met this guy when I was in second year. So did you get third year? No. <laughs> like I played the fifth. <laughs> you didn't get that. Oh there. my goodness. Oh my god. But are your friends getting married or getting pregnant? Or Listen, not? Them. three quarter yeah. of the guys that I know mm. are pregnant. Three quarter? Yeah. Hey, just or already three. had yeah. kids. I think this, this light keeps blinking. Does it affect anything? I'm a name Kosa. Does that even no. this one as well? Okay, cool. Then mm-hmm. we proceed. Yeah, like so many of them are pregnant. I know one who just gave birth like two weeks ago. Uh, one is currently seven months. Right. Another one just discovers his pregnant. Another one is giving birth next month. It's like a whole array of. Okay. And, and at least you, you also just got married. Yeah, so, yeah. so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, this, this whole time I thought Mariah had kids. <laughs> Mariah go and say, oh, Mommy Judy, Mommy Judy, Mommy Judy. On Saturday, uh-huh. on Saturday oh, yeah. um, I passed by 18 for a bit. So I met DJ exclusive, right? Mm. So I'm like, hey, what's up? He's like, you can't are mad at you. I'm like, what happened? I tell you, you get a baby and not. <laughs> <laughs> I love us, bro. Come on. Listen, <laughs> one if I don't get married, I'm marrying you. Two people are gonna be my wives. That sounds uh, like a fair deal, bro. It doesn't sound like a fair deal. It sounds like a fair because I know, because I know, I know, Mwangi will take on for the team. The biggest fuck boy in Nairobi and Mwas. Yeah. Oh my God. Congratulations, yeah. you played yourself. <laughs> Hold really on, hold on, hold on. Can you pump the volume up? Okay. Once. Yeah. Drop, drop, like... drop it. Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I love our new effects. Listen, I love our new effects. Kwanza today, we're going to use it so yeah, many times. Because yours yeah. is wilding out here. Yeah. And mm. you know, so when Tafari is getting married this weekend, uh, Mariah... Tafari is getting married this morning. That's how he did This morning, actually. Yeah, I'm going to Yeah, I'm going to go to I'm going to go Mike Chekka. Signing some papers. <laughs> you, you were having trouble going to Uganda. Because when we recorded, wow. you were yeah. leaving the same evening, yeah. right? Yeah. And I thought you'd left. So me the following morning, I get on Twitter. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! Oh, you're still here. My flight was at 10 p.m. Okay. 
First of all, Mother Which airline is this? <laughs> Uganda Airlines. <laughs> Uganda <laughs> Airlines. Uganda Airlines. Well, Air. As they That's call it, Uganda, Uganda Air. Air. Uganda Air. <laughs> so uh, it was decommissioned um, some time back. Okay. And then now it's come back under new management. <laughs> Which is, government or private? Uh, I think Gava, still okay. Gava. Okay. Um, so I don't know much about the ownership, but it's come back under, under you know how we keep bailing out our airline? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So then they went under and then now they're back. Uh-huh. So the funniest thing was my flight was at 10 p.m. I get to the airport on time. Kwanza way before time because mother hen alin fukuza kwa nyumba 6 saka nembe kuna traffic. I'm like 6. <laughs> for a 10 p.m. flight, bro. 6. Six. Yeah, my sister was at the airport by like 7 something. Mother hen has to make a cameo at some point on this show. <laughs> I know oh, she's yeah, running away, but she's, she has Because I know guys are wondering, who is mother hen? Yeah. Okay, sorry. So we check in. We are up with Kwanza. I was flying alone. Um, One of my colleagues was there, but we hadn't met yet. Yeah. So I'm just sitting there. I'm wondering, hey, it's 9, 9.15, 9.30. I'm going to boarding call. No one is Wait, saying no communication. Anything. No communication. And have you gotten your boarding pass already? Yeah, we've done everything. Shit. We are up okay. over where in. now it's just getting onto the flights. Okay, we are the gates. So I chilled there 9.30, 9.45, 9.50, 10. <laughs> I'm like, hey, bro. <laughs> Connie, this flight was all time. I check it. No communication, no nothing. Um, so I, I link up with my colleague to the WhatsApp and come here. I'm in a black t-shirt, whatever, whatever. I'm always in a black t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a black t-shirt. Like, like that's you info. <laughs> I own like four. <laughs> <laughs> and you're always wearing them. Seven yeah, days a week, four t-shirts. So, <laughs> okay. So, we link up. Hey, kido kido go. Now, luckily, this babe is a bad bitch. So, she went and she caused like a storm. Should, should you like, introduce me to her? Yeah. So, she went like 10.30. She's like, Number bro, 35. we're supposed to be on the air. And then now, <laughs> the weirdest thing is, the, the driver was supposed to pick me up from Entebbe Airport. He's WhatsApping me. What time are you? So he was sending me voice notes. What time are you landing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> is your airplane off the ground? It. Is your airplane <laughs> off the ground? <laughs> Not no, I'm using my hands a lot. Oh, sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to you. It's called the Tessa. So if you can, if you didn't fit so to me, if you can like 10.30, no communication. Then like at 11. That's fucked up. Yeah, at 11. We're told, um, so the airplane is not coming on. <laughs> 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 so as you're like, okay, what does that mean? Yeah. Uh, we tried. So me in my mind, I'm like, they're trying to crank it like, chung, yung, yung, yung. <laughs> <laughs> then I tweet about it. I love when I say, like, major book jump start. <laughs> wow. Someone is like, at you want to know, you're going to go to school. Pilot, I used to. So at that point, you're like, okay, okay. So yeah. the, 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 the whole, we're like, what, 70, 100 passengers, you're split into two. There are those who are very, very mad and disappointed at the non-communication. Of course. And then no. there's Ugandans. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, this happens all the time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They're like, are you surprised? <laughs> I mean, our airline went under. Ghana, <laughs> Andy. I love the accent. It's <laughs> crazy. Like, everyone, and then, of course, there's your usual white person who's very mad at you. I'm so disappointed in all of you. Oh, they like, are. <laughs> <laughs> We have nothing to do with to dogs. your country. And then... <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mariah. <laughs> oh, oh so, my gosh. Crazy thing is, we're yeah. told, um, the next flight is at 2 a.m. <laughs> so you can imagine, you know how uncomfortable air, the airport seats are? Yeah. With Chuma, no. too. I, so so that's why it's... it's like Angole, Ile Jine Amusho, always. Yeah. Chaksi, Chacha, Moraga, the plane is leaving. Always. I hate sitting at the airport. Oh, my God. Fucking so me, I'm sitting Crazy, there, I'm like, bro. so it's yeah. 11, 12, 1, 2. So with three more hours of just sitting. After two yeah. more hours of, after two hours of sitting. So I'm like, up on my car. And then, kido, kido, go. So this babe says, um, so I'm duty free to shikem zinga. I can't believe. Like, hey, I can't of course. Believe. It's hard to be. It's hard to be. Because it happens. And then they're like, hey, come out to be born and they get to be born. Ni line gani kuna line yango ma flani? Okay. Kasi yezi bai gani ni shabai mzinga bora zote ziti bebe. So we sit down, we meet this really cool Ugandan babes, two of them. Mm-hmm. So these people are taking a self and then they're behind, they're like clowning. And then they're like, I'm sorry to you Kenyans because of our print situation. Oh. <laughs> and those guys are like, what are you doing in Kenya? They're like, we came to see Rema. We're like, we are sorry to you Ugandan. <laughs> <laughs> Rema situation. Hey. So you're like, one, one. They ended up being so cool. Yeah. So our nightmare doesn't end there. Oh, shit. So the flight, there was no flight at 2 a.m. So this, this guy can... Did they at least communicate? They did not. So they said what? the flight is coming at 2 a.m. Some guy says, yo, I'm on flight radar. There's no flight from Entebbe to Nairobi right now. Shoot. And then guys are like, oh, shit, you guys are, f- are fucking lying. Then the guys were saying, Ati, Ata, we should thank God the, pl- the, f- the flight <laughs> was off on the ground. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, so guys start getting some perspective like, okay, okay. 
Oh, still wow. communication. I didn't even thought of that. Same here, bro. I turned into every babe ever to their boyfriend. You know how I say, it's not about the mistake. It's about how you communicate it. <laughs> <laughs> that was me to Uganda Airlines, man. It's like, say something. You honestly. Yeah. Uh, Kidogo, all the, all the uh, attendants disappear. Hmm? Yeah, we were left there, just the passengers, at like, what, midnight now? Wait, they didn't book you into a hotel? No. So that's not yet. So we're asking, like, what's going to happen? Because we've been lied to. There's a flight coming at 2. So we're all waiting. I was feeling bad for the guys with kids and the guys yeah, who are old. That's, that's yeah, don't people. do that. Um, but I'll get to that. Yani, I can come here. So it becomes a point. This attendant, I think she was just starting her shift. She comes into the lobby, people around her. They're like, you have to, you have to call your boss or call someone. Something has to happen. Yeah. Yeah. This babe finessed us. She took her phone. She was like, oh, ah, my boss says there's another flight that's landing shortly. So you guys will leave in a few minutes. So let me just go and sort the paperwork. Guys are like, oh, thank God. She leaves. There's no flight. <laughs> <laughs> we realize wow. after one hour, we're still there. Yeah. So then we're being told we can't sleep at the airport. So of they course. tell us, they kick us out of the airport. They send security. Then we're like, why are we sleeping? So now they've confirmed there's no flight coming. There's no 1 a.m., 2 a.m., there's nothing. So we wanted to go back to Ruaka. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to Google. Then, Continue. Yeah. I'm just going to Google how many flights Uganda Airlines has. Continue. <laughs> oh. So we go. We were stranded at the parking lot. Then they say they're booking us into a hotel. Apple, just the Hilton next to JKA. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, so they send, they start sending vans to come and pick people. Let me tell you, guys are so selfish. Huh? Like the first van came like this, like 10 men just threw their suitcases in. And are you serious? Yeah. No. There's an old lady over yeah, there. Yeah, and babies. Guys with kids and babies, nothing. Guys are just, the van comes, guys just come in, it goes, come in, it goes. So it figured a point now, after now the oldies had gone in and the ba- guys with babies, Kabaksa, Sisi, we're like, every yeah, year, so between 20 and 40, we're equal. Now we can figure it out. <laughs> now we can fight. The, the guys yeah. with the fingers. <laughs> Yeah, and that, so it was, it was just one bus picking people and dropping. It was like a van that carries like, let's say, seven people. So okay. they sent like five. So they are doing rotations. Oh, okay. gotcha. Yeah, to the hotel and back. Yeah. So me, I was in the last ones because I, I figured even if you go to the hotel, you're not getting booked immediately. Anyway. You're just going to sit. Might as well just take your yeah. time. So we get in there. And then now the last one, um, the last van came. Yeah. And then they said they want to carry the pilot and the crew first. Hmm? And then guys started complaining. Yeah, oh. as you should. Guys were like, yo, I thought you guys should be the last people to leave the airport. I mean. And then there were some people with nice arguments like, me, I want my pilot well rested. <laughs> so, <Nah. laughs> Which makes sense. Because if you're flying in the morning, you yeah. want your pilot to at least have a couple of hours of sleep. You, you can sleep on the plane. Oh. So anyway, good, long story short, we make it to the hotel. We check in. We sleep for like maybe an hour or two. Because we checked in at like 4.30. You get into your room at 5. Then at like 6.30, they ring you like, hey, Shuka, yeah, your flight is here. Oh. We shook out, that flight was not there. I was so mad at this point. Get to the airport at like 8, 9, waited another 2, 3 hours. We boarded at like 11, 30. That is fucked up. You know what you need yeah. to do? You know what you need to press? Mm-hmm. To Ugandan <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. You try, you try yourself. <laughs> but luckily, they sent us one of these big ass airlines. <laughs> airplanes. Zilla Ugandan Airlines. Zilla Zanya is going to sit number A and back a G. <laughs> like three and then four in the middle. And then that's yeah. the director. There's like four people at the gate. Where yeah. are ah, business class. Go yeah. this way up. Yeah. You, regular. And the way. So there was, there was a Ugandan politician on the plane. So he was complaining, I am business class. <laughs> because then <laughs> they had to fix us on the next plane. So yeah. I think the business class was full. So guys were just... Mm. Kind of on the on economy. Uh, so yeah, we had a nice flight, landed. Everything else went super in Uganda. Mm. The border borders are crazy. Wow. <laughs> did, did you have sex in Uganda? No, I did not. Cheers. Oh, so I just God. Googled. Taxi. <laughs> exactly. So I'm like, just asking, bro. <laughs> Sex is a normal I thing, did. yo. Oh, yeah. Hey. So I just Googled how many flights does, does Uganda Airlines have, and their fleet size is six. So probably... Six. Yeah, six. Six, 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 six planes. Six, six, six smaller planes. than Skyward. Hey, hey. Skyward has Send more. Send a line at the Netherlands. <laughs> even even me, our, our deputy president probably has more choppers. <laughs> so you can say like... Oh my which gosh. Which one is like 18, so if, 18% if added, of their fleet of them. If you added Joho, Ruto, and I'm sure the first family... <laughs> hey, and then uh, the Moyes, mm-hmm. the bro, we, they, 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 there's more planes, like, like by yeah. far, maybe triple or ten times, if, whatever if, they if have. If you add us too, because you're fly. That's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a <laughs> so much <laughs> happened with you, <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that was my week. How was your week, guys? Oh, that was crazy, though. Yeah. Sheesh. Uganda has amazing food. Yeah. Their portions are crazy. 
Unaitisha tilapia na leta tilapia tunaenda. Wow. Don't don't do the same thing. Like, 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 it is one like it. Riva Nile bro. Huh? That's the oh, largest damn. river in Africa. That's yeah. the largest river as well. So they're saying <laughs> kuna fish to leta tukasema mazi amsha the Nile sasa water levels imeenda chini after fish imetoka. It was too big. Why is everything served in Matoke no? No but it's it's a regular side like okay. fish uh, like utacheki chipo rice matoke ni it's a regular. It's a regular. Mm. Eh hey, so fish ugali matoke. Chipo yeah. rice matoke in one place. Yeah. So I'm telling you. Where there's a side I'll show you the photo. Yeah. There's a side that they'll gonna rice matoke waru ugali. <laughs> That's Yo. a side for the big fish. <laughs> it, so it's listen, like hey you basically need a lot of saliva if you eat your garden food because how you going to eat? How you going to eat all this food? Choke me daddy cuisine bro. <laughs> the episode title <laughs> <laughs> talking about the cuisine so, hold up let me let me not that funny part <laughs> i asked the cab driver because you are complaining every time you go eat somewhere always we're like getting take away because you can't finish the food <laughs> so i asked the cab driver like hey ugandans your portions are mad it's like you know yeah we grew up poor so when you get money you eat all you can <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. so like so how many times a day do you eat when i'm rich any time <laughs> When I'm poor when I can. <laughs> oh my <I> god. Was <laughs> so, oh my god. Oh shit. Like us like three meals a day, four meals a day. No, no, no. Here money, money. <laughs> <laughs> Even after this trip I'm going to eat. <laughs> so how many <laughs> Wait, let me google. How many stomachs do you Ghanaian uh, people have? You <laughs> Ghanaians are crazy. How many? You know cows have four stomachs. Hey, but I know we're getting to that. Now. How many? I'm serious. How many mm. stomachs? Why are you googling? Why are you wasting my bundles? <laughs> <laughs> But yo, yeah. Google yeah, but bless surprises. Uganda there could be something in Uganda is funny. Uganda <laughs> is Uganda is a land of extremes. I saw like really rich places and hey, places. Hey, places. Really, really rich places. Really, 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 Four in ten Ugandans working for stomach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fourth article: management of cancer of the stomach in Mulago Hospital. Hey, I'm Anna. not even messing. Okay, mm-hmm. fifth list of mammals in Uganda. The next Uganda back to basics in malnutrition. <laughs> like, I'm not, like, Google it for yourself. <laughs> no, that's hey, <laughs> the portions are mad. Even the hotel. I asked for this um carbonara, bro. A mountain of spaghetti. I'm like, what? <laughs> And then I had a gentrified Rolex. So I went to this oh, place. So they have the kind of Rolex. Yeah. 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 This guy literally said that gentrified Rolex. It's a gentrified Rolex, bro. Ilikwanga na bacon. No. Jeez, this salad is gonna be mayo. I'm like, eh. So this is gonna be chapati na na ni mama yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, we we get the, the we get the short end of the stick when we get to Alexis here. It's really yeah. yeah. But anyway, mm-hmm. what did you score in KCSE? 386. Hey! Hey! KCSE! KCP! KCSE! Hi, I'm KCP! KCP! Oh my god! Okay, wait. KCP 386. Yes. And then KCSE? B. A B plane. Yes. Damn. Okay. Thomas, what is going to be? 428. 428. Yeah. And KCC B+. Plus. Come on. We're all on the podcast. <laughs> Woo! Taxi cannot wait before. for this question. Yeah. Taxi. <laughs> Taxi cannot okay. wait. I'm Taxi. just saying. What did you score? Let, so me you know. you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Oh, Mas, ask me. What did you score in KCP? Uh What are you going to press first, KCP? Uh, no, what are you G- going to press prior? You don't, you don't worry. What, so, G- I'm not going to press anything. Yeah. KCP, I had 406. Okay. KCC. And then KCC, bro. I was in the motherfucking newspapers, bro. Wait, which what one? What grade was that? A. I had, I had, of course. Got an A, standing I scored, A. I scored A's in all my eight subjects. Nice. Yo, I've... An A of 84. One, yeah. That's actually commendable. 86. No. 84, 86. Hey. Commendable, commendable. Yeah. Uh-huh. Nice one. I've always been an overachiever, bro. Akili ni nyole uli dunia. Akili. Akili literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So, wait. Yani, wait who beat me here in the crew? Who beat me? Who did I beat? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Uh, who did my beat? <laughs> Anyone who's got See what it called podcast. <laughs> Back of the day, the smartest yes. guy dropped out. In Three eighty six. Three eighty six. Okay. Two. What did you get? Three eighty four. Oh, nice. 
Anyone got below 384? Anyone who got below 384 from here? Give him, give him the mic. Below 384, yeah, that's what you want to hear, yeah. <laughs> uh, I scored a 289. 289? Yes. Yeah. But I performed, I performed well in my high school. I got Wait. a A+. Plus. Hey. Oh, hey. With your 289 in KCP, were you still the first student in your school? The first? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Just clarifying. <laughs> Uli, Uli, pull up your socks for one. <laughs> But congrats, man. Yeah, who, that's, got that's, below, who, that's... who got below, below Deno here? <laughs> Nelly, ah, Nelly, 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 come on. How many questions did you fail? <laughs> Nelly, Nelly. <laughs> Yes. So me me I got the kama avenue de nona sema alipata 286 yes. alinishin at 289 mimi uh, pata 287 actually uh-huh. okay so me maybe alinishin hizo tatu like on average wapi ranked nilikuwa hapo katika jiko number 1 nilikuwa hapo number 20 za hapo hivyo direct then high school ulikuwa ni na nilikuwa ngapi kwa class direct nilikuwa na 56 students so kuna mzali pata 140 kabla ya mafunzo what 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 okay So we picked um <sighs> you you guys literally spoke about this on one of the previous episodes yeah. like there's a guy guys were doing a challenge of asking themselves uh, questions from primary school yeah. right so we have a, a, a we have a, a a paper from primary school mm-hmm. was it primary yeah or? primary yeah and it's a class what it's a class what paper class 8 No KCP class people. like class eight. class eight, yes. Okay, class eight. Okay. I can't remember it's a KCP paper. I don't know what class. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. <laughs> so we're gonna yes, go first. Anza tu na uko. Na mwas. Basically, skia save last for best. Okay. I only sell drop out and yeah. Save so, last for best. Uh, <laughs> Ni science mo science mo sul patanga bi science maybe, science li maybe li hold it closer fellow because last time shika kama njwanga sorry i missed the joke bi shika kama njwanga okay so tuta nini tuta ni science okay so i'll ask random answers Rand- okay random Just questions random, random questions alafu nitakusoma answers and then you'll say either a or you'll just name the ABC yeah, yeah. okay so who are you beginning with Moss? i'm starting with Moss. skia usidunde swali yako unasidunde haya which one of the following parasites destroys wool and sheep sorry We, which one of the following parasites destroys wool and sheep mm-hmm. any mites b ni lice c ni fleas alafu d ni ticks wewe unajua nataka tu kuchukua Joanna ama Sylvia. That's for the sake. I think uh, mites. Any mites. mites. Eh? Mites. Okay, let me confirm. Um we fail. Hakuna uh, nini hapa ya drum rolls. Drum rolls. No. It's okay. Hey, easy effect stuck on the ball. Yeah, it's mites. Hey. But so but, but just take a calculated guess or you know it i did what we called elimination method <laughs> i like that nika back in ambili then i took a 50% <laughs> okay nice one yeah pressure oh, hey, pressure I'm not, I'm not pressure, ready. pressure pressure <laughs> pressure i'm, I'm not ready say okay okay kama rack and that i gonna punch i'm i'm not ready it's not a bad joke okay planets okay. maraya which one of the following statements is true about the planet's mass It is nearest to the sun which is A uh-huh. B the brightest planet C nearest to the earth and D the smallest planet which one is the which of the following statement is true um it is nearest to earth yeah yeah she's right yeah, yeah. you don't need to confirm that Askia someone I have to talk to the team I can't put out what that would be fucked up ask me energy tetea oh 
you. We're not sure. We're not sure. Yo, the 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 idea for the game was first to fail. So all of only only and the neck that you want you may have. Ah, shoot, shoot. Vegetation. Oh, Which fine. one of the following is a leguminous plant? <laughs> what? One, mm. the first one, A, cabbage. Uh -huh. B, maize. C, groundnut. D, tomato. It was? Maize. Cabbage. Cabbage. B, maize. B was? Maize. C, groundnut. Uh -huh. D, ni tomato. I'll go with A. <laughs> the answer is, is ground nuts. Are you serious? Let you. <laughs> Where is that? Where is Bro, I, like I'm telling you, I genuinely, I remember, I remember legends that you're going to have. I just have yeah, one thing to tell you. Congratulations. You played yourself. Okay. <laughs> guess what? I was fine. When I was actually active, I used to get that. I used to get that. Say anything in the chat, Shinda. You're not Ah, like my, I remembered my record. Uh -huh. What was the record? I'm serious. I am the only person on earth who drank three beers in the shower. That's a fucking record, bro. Do you guys... <laughs> I'm serious. Listen. Before we get there... I want to there. think about drinking beers when there's a lot of what... Bro, see right here, huh? And I drink three beers. And Two I for each. in five minutes. Two more for each, Sindio. Let me tell Each one at a time may take three, three, Sindio. Yeah. Okay. okay. We're starting with you, Chaxi. Okay, cool. Which... <laughs> Oh, a student ninja and a student. I'm just one for the team. Okay, again vegetation, bird and plants. Aye, bro. We. Which... I'm not even vegetarian. Redeem myself. yourself. Redeem yourself. Oh, okay. Which of the following groups only consist of non-flowering plants? Oh, a. Non-flowering. Pine, cedar, and cypress. Mm -hmm. B. Ni sugarcane, sisal, and onion. C. Ni cedar. Moss na kale. <laughs> D. Ni Carrot, cassava, and cactus. It has cassida. Now, Mr. Ma, consists of non flowering. Non -flowering. Only non flowering. Mm. Okay, 20 nikikwambia, yes or no? Start from the top. Okay. Pine, cedar, cypress. Flowering. I shall fail. Sh exactly. Sugar cane, I shall fail. Shall that's, the that's the answer. That's the answer. <laughs> 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 Control Alt Delete. You can see that you your campus. You can see right from the bottom. Bottom up. You can see that same last four minutes. What do you say? I like how one of them come to the other one of them. Hey, what's up? What's up, like, what's up? What's up, what's up? Let's always stay. Next. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maraya. We'll have to say 13 votes. I'm in the consideration. Then I'm going to say. Back to him. Next. Maraya to you. Sweat glands in the skin of human body are located in there. I already answered that. We answered that. Yeah. We answered that one? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Knocked off tail and go move. Two of them. Ah, this one. Uh huh. A plan is but to me answer. To all is that too. I'm a more answer this one, and then Mara will be the last. One evening, a people noticed a bright heavenly body that wasn't was not twinkling. The heavenly body was mostly likely A. Saturn, B. Uranus, C. Venus, D. Neptune. It's Venus, but could be Elon Musk. When it's your pee, I will fail. Unless you buy drinks, you have to bring something to the table. Next. No, next. It's over. Oh my goodness. I am married to you, plants. <laughs> Which of the following groups of plants have the same type of fruit systems? Mm -hmm. A, tomato, maize, and peas. B, bean, blackjack, and cabbage. C, groundnut, rice, and sugarcane. D, millet, cassava, and carrot. Which plants? Which of the following group of plants have the same type of fruit system? Uh, fruit system. A, tomato, maize, peas. Oh, I kept hearing fruit system. I had system. fruit as well. Oh, it's root. Root, yeah. okay. System. But that doesn't mean you fail. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay, let's go. So I read the answers again? Yes, yeah. please. Okay. A, we have tomato, maize, and peas. B, bean, 
blackjack and cabbage. C, groundnuts, rice, and sugarcane. D, we have millet, cassava, and carrot. Um, D. No, it's B. B. Bean, blackjack, and cabbage. Bro, really? You know, you know, I don't you know, even know how blackjack you know what I was about to say? I was about to say, Akichagwe, you're going to blackjack. That's the correct one. Black, you're going to have blackjack. You're going to have blackjack. Those are the ones. Yeah, those ones. System. <laughs> So at least, at least I didn't join index one. They have one, huh? I joined index one, and I drop out of my check. I drop out of my check. I figure out. I know that. I drop out of my check. I know that. 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 I Then you have to ask another question. No, we have spent too much time. Let's take the last one. Kill up the time. No, no, no. no. Too much. I'm going to be a cassana. I'm going to be a taxi. Yeah. Those are enough, bro. We spent like nine minutes. Okay, true. Okay, we do this. We do this. After the recording, you and Mariah, we ask each other. And then we find out my step from Zima. Yeah. Anyway. Into more interesting stuff that does not involve me trying to remember what I studied in high school. So why a cell? Who had the, who had a good uh, breakdown? I think it was more. You had, it would give us the tea, Kwanza. Oh, okay, yeah, then, yeah, we'll yeah, then we'll get into it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, long yeah. story short is, you know, um, young, young Thug, Ghana, they have this group called YSL. It's a record label, actually. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Uh, young Stoner Life but, or Stoner with uh, Slim Life. Okay. No, yeah. So basically, um, these guys, apparently, as much as it's a label, um, Gavawa Nasemaitsa, Like a criminal Again, organization. Like they involve in criminal activities. So mm. they've been trailing them for like years and years and say mm. where they feel like they have enough evidence to incriminate them. So apparently they have phone recordings of young thug um co- let's just say quote unquote confessing mm. to you know dropping bodies people calling and saying like oh ni mwanani i've done this to the body i've disposed mm-hmm. it here da 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 mm. zingine even kelele shine this guy is like oh you've gone soft yeah. whatever whatever so and even have video evidence of them disposing the bodies and they're talking like 50 bodies and it's just unfortunate that all these bodies are black so do you have to get to a number of 50 before you decide to put an end to all this madness yeah. i mm. i don't get it they've been trailing them for eight years yes 50 murders later, mm. arrests have been made. <laughs> And Young Thug might be going away for a long time. I don't know. Yeah. According to how it looks, me, yeah. I don't know what kind of lawyer you have to get yeah. to get out of this mess. Because yeah. So, um, so I, I, I read a bit on just what the situation is, mm-hmm. including a really nice article by Mumbi, the poet, mm-hmm. who I think we've, now this is the second time we're speaking about Mumbi. Because uh, she's, a, she's a lawyer, mm-hmm. not a lawyer, but she studied law and she, of course she's a poet. Uh, so she has a blog. She writes mm-hmm. about stuff sometimes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, so one, 28 YSL gang members were arrested. 28, bro. <laughs> I'm like, this thing is a record label. Okay, makes sense. Because yeah. a lot of these musicians, of course, they have their own entourages and their, their people yeah. Who, yeah. They, who they move with. Mm-hmm. But that's a minimum when you go to 28 yeah, gang members over nice. record charges, which is now maybe something we could expound on and look into, yeah. into why we have to press that button for Young Thug. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. <laughs> Isn't it crazy how how sometimes you you ask yourself, right? Mm-hmm. Like when you're when you're already super successful, why don't you leave the past behind? Yeah. Everyone talks about it. Hov talks about uh, you know selling yeah. drugs and after leaving that behind and now you know focusing on rap. Pusha talks. They all talk about the yeah, previous gang like they activities. They never looked back, but they never they looked left. back. When the opportunity presents itself, you go and you don't look back. Yeah, you move out of the neighborhoods. You know all these things. Yeah, so. When there's 28 gang members and there's wire tips, they're caught in 4K. Imagine. <laughs> yeah. 8K. And then... The color big, graded. Yeah, color graded. <laughs> then the bigger question is, yes, so uh, I don't know how the law works, especially in the States, but when it comes to murder, especially murder, right? How many, how many people need to be dead before you can say it? Now we have... Yeah, yeah we have enough We have evidence. enough evidence, you know. Yeah. Why does it take eight years for you to apprehend somebody. Yeah. So I was reading about the mm-hmm. record charges. So apparently, and uh, Mwangi, you'll expound more on this. Uh, this is, um, this law was put in place in the 70s and the main reason why it was put in place was to contain the mafia. Because mm. the mafia were, of, of course, gangs of, course, of people. Yeah. And it became very hard <clears throat> for you to go after the individual mafia members because it took so much, so much time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what they did is they came up with a law where if you benefited in any way 
from any of the mafia activities, mm-hmm. you go down with all of them, like yeah. the rest of them. Mm-hmm. So just to kill the whole mafia thing. But guess where else this law is applied to the black community, especially hip hop? Mm. Yeah. Because I'm saying if, if the system is already broken, you might put in a policy that maybe works for that particular time. But if it's Finyang already uh, an already marginalized group, mm. then isn't it time to relook how it works yeah. and maybe have some um, caveats within it? Because mm. mm. does this mean does this mean if I'm Young Thug's brother, I have mm. nothing to do with the gang, but I hang some, out with them because yeah, he's my brother. Are, and he's successful, right? So now am I also going down because my brother kills people? Yeah, it has a lot or of gets people killed. Because so, so this <laughs> the out the, the the takeout from this whole thing. It's so it's it's they've been. 56 criminal offenses. Yes. Yeah, that's the number of... Charges they, include, they include the murder, they include um, robberies, they include mm-hmm. anything that you can think of that's really putting you away for life. Yeah. Um, and what it says is, whoever is in this crew, so if Chaxi, you killed the person, mm-hmm. Mariah drove the car, I collected the body, and then... Holy kam kufta bang na sisi badai. Then catch it. Because my story na ukaiskia na ikasonga. We are all affiliated. Boom. We are all going. But if it's murder like that, then that's fine. Because yeah. if you drove the car that had the body I killed yeah. and we were together, then we are all that makes accomplices. Sense, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. But, but if I facilitated, hmm? I don't understand why he's going down. He just came to stone. Because he'll know about the criminal activity. He'll know about. Oh, we'll talk about it. Oh. You, you won't report it. Yeah. Or for example, maybe he'll be given the gun to dispose. Mm-hmm. I don't know how <laughs> how this works, gangster yeah. shit works, but yeah. ideally that's it. So the caveat is whoever gives the police the most information, aka okay, whoever snitches the most, gets the least time. Least time. So Basically, what, happen, like what happened yeah. with the Takashi story? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like if you if you snitch. You get a lesser sentence, mm. or you get you pardoned, less or yeah. you do less time. You basically less get like a less um what is it called sentence. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The funniest thing from this whole story is <laughs> there's a babe who came on Twitter and said that he one of the gang one of the gang members flew her out for a vacation and then ghosted her. Mm. And then at, I'm happy at now he's behind bars. I'm like, oh, nice case stories. I recall the first yeah, thing you do, you incriminate yourself, you is affiliate yourself with them. <laughs> Even the guy who put up a video, Akio backstage, like, I'm 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 like, bro. Like, go home and now it's going home for life. You maybe. like. This thing used to make $5,000 being an errand boy. Oh, my gosh. Let me talk to my jacket, my guy. Bro. $5,000. Yeah, what are you saying? Congratulations. Congratulations. You played yourself. Exactly. Because, yo, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. So, you know, um, when I saw this, my first reaction is, oh, fuck, I hope this is not true. Because... Young Thug is so successful now. And each time I saw YSL, to me, I was like, oh my God, I like how this, this he's, a, he's a young guy mm-hmm. who's in the game um, and he's bringing up a lot of people with him. Yeah. So to me, Young Thug has always, I've always looked at YSL as, oh damn, I like mm-hmm. what he's doing. Yeah. Just bringing people up with him, you know, like yeah. in Ghana and uh, the, the dude who died, mm-hmm. Lil Kid. Mm-hmm. And the other guys, random people too. Anyway, I just knew YSL, especially yeah. from a lot of the remixes. I'm like, yeah. okay, I like what he's doing. Mm-hmm. But then I didn't know that there was, you know, a lot of criminal affiliations related to what these guys were doing. Mm-hmm. And I'm not very... Uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not very um, informed on criminal gangs in the mm-hmm. in the states. Most of what I see is what I see in movies or what I hear in hip hop, especially yeah, yeah. like the because, blood, the hips, yeah. only that. And in hip hop, especially because hip hop and gang activities it's, as very right. synonymous. Correlated. There's, there's a lot of correlations in there, so a lot of it will come from interviews or from just lyrics. Yeah, and yeah. which brings brings me to the next question. Mm-hmm. Um, as much as there's murder charges and there's all these activities, mm-hmm. I'd I'd like for that to be treated separately. So when they're using Young Thug's lyrics against them in court, I think that is not fair. I don't think mm-hmm. they should use lyrics, especially f- to uh, to need to build a case around somebody, just because mm. just because someone has criminal activity. I don't think you should go to the lyrics. I think I think okay, I'm with you on that one because it's it's an art form, it's an expressive form of. Mm. But also, what if the lyrics <laughs> go with the evidence? A trail of <laughs> I don't understand. But the evidence first, you see, like we find Chuck's body in my house. Yeah. And then you can use that against me. So if I go to the studio, I'm like, hey, blood fucking chucks in Olympic and Joanna. See? Bulenje. I was looking for Bulenje. Adi Akagenya. You know, like, even the judge would be like, hey. They have one. I can't like, repeat it. Come on, get to me a lyrics. Come on, in Kenya. We can't do it. Hi, Swedish. Dunga Kwanza. Ma Pinji. No. Guys, guys. So this is why mm-hmm. I don't care. So 
Um, there's always going to be exceptions when it comes to life. But if uh, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna use an example just to bring this mm-hmm. just to bring to draw in some bit of perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, rap is mm-hmm. a form of expression, just yeah. like any other arts. Do you know how many personas musicians have to take in their different songs? Yeah, mm-hmm. because. You don't make music about yourself all the time. You make music about your surroundings. You make music about your upbringing. You make music about the things you, you see. About... You, make, you make even music about the things you hear. Mm-hmm. And that's why it's supposed to be a reflection of society. Yeah. So you, when you start using lyrics, then what you're doing is you're, you're going to start suppressing the art form. Yeah. Yeah. And again, this brings us to the point of someone has to keep protecting the, pro- protecting the art form. Not the artist. The mm. artist is a human being. Yeah. Yeah. They can kill people like maybe what YSL are doing. Mm. So they should face charges for that. Yeah. But the art form itself, which other genre of music do they use? Well, my scare at your rock artist was sentenced in and they used their lyrics. <laughs> but do you there know was what those... one, there was one, um, what's, what's the name? There was this guy, apparently he was a serial killer and he was also a rock artist. Mm-hmm. And all, um, all the titles of his songs were like hints to things that he had done. And yeah, they did use that as but evidence. I, but how, I'd like to know how you'd prove that titles to my songs were hints of what I did. Whether the crime is there and it matches. I'd like you to prove. Because how do you prove that? If, if it draws a pattern. If, if I have a 13-track album mm. and all the song titles are either people I murdered or locations I murdered them in or my murder weapons, mm. if That's, it forms a pattern, yeah. it becomes suspicious. So, I have a question for mm-hmm. both of you. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, 50 Cent mm-hmm. produced Power. Yeah. Think of any movie. Now go after the directors and producers and be like, why do you have so many dead bodies in a story? Or That's go unrelated. to power and look. It is. It's still an art form. <laughs> but it it's is fiction. an art form. It's a work of fiction. But music is also not all the time real, bro. A lot it's of music is fiction. Real. But if someone but says, in this, this album is about my life in the ghetto, in the projects, and then in this album they say how they killed people. It's an accident. That's true. But if they find a body and the evidence makes sense that you killed them and the song is about them, it's only I feel right. like there's now a connection. Yeah. Uh, I need you to prove. I, I want. How do you? I want. I, I like. I hear what you're saying. I just don't get it. Mm-hmm. How do you prove? Unless I confess myself and and say this mm-hmm. song was about this person. How do you prove? Because this is, wait, in the projects, this is not the first dead person that <laughs> dies in this. The yeah. circumstances are always similar, bro. True. So how do you completely use my lyrics to convict me just because there's, maybe I did something similar. Those stories are always similar. Read about those stories. Yeah. They're always similar. So how do you say, you are, you are not in studio when I was recording it. Mm. You are not there when I was writing it. How do you prove that what I said in my verse is exactly what happened here. So you imagine can't prove that. So How? Let's, let's use as an example. So let's say see, we said um they had been trailing him, they had phone conversations, whatnot. So imagine they ping your phone, like let's say Likwa Marish. You shot someone, this person is dead. I, I call him like Chaxi, woo, body dropped. You hop in the studio, Usiku. Marish, we did the thing. <laughs> you, you understand? Okay, you see, it, you see, it makes sense. You see, that I'm saying that is an exception. Because, one, I don't think there's someone who's a bit dumb enough to use actual names mm. and put it in lyrics like that. Most of what you read, like, for example, this is one of the lyric, um, this is off Mumbi's article that they're using against Seng Thug, right? Mm-hmm. I want to find... Uh, huh. Okay. It says... Uh, okay, shit. Okay, I'll find it. Let's continue. I'll you find know, I think, it. I think we're I'll all find on it. the same page. Yeah. We're saying lyrics should not be used, but there should be exceptions. Yes, like in this situation. No, if they support the evidence. No. Nah. Okay. I'm with you, Moas. So we agree to disagree. Yeah. Yes. And we don't have to agree. <laughs> so my thing is, okay. So my, my, my thing is, it's very simple. Um, it's very hard to make exceptions mm-hmm. when, it, when, it, when it comes to an expressive, an, an, a very expressive art form. Mm-hmm. Also, we already know the criminal justice system in the U.S. Does, is, is, is not built for black people. True. Yeah. It, it's very suppressive yeah. to, begin, to begin with. Mm-hmm. Rap is predominantly, not even predominantly, black. Rap is black. Mm-hmm. We begin there. Yeah. Rap is black. So rap is the only genre that ever since from, from uh, NWA, even from way before, yeah. has always, always been super scrutinized by, yeah. the, by, by this, by this the same, system. same system. That's yeah. true. So all I'm saying is, whether I'm a rapper or not, you should not use my art form. Not art forms, lyrics especially. Let me stick to rap. Yeah. Using lyrics as evidence in court 
I feel like that is is sub, is again suppressing this same same genre. Yeah. And I'd like for that to be separated. If I killed people and took pictures and you have those pictures, use those pictures. But just because yo rappers are. They cap all the time, bro. Rappers cap all the damn time. <laughs> Am I true. lying? It's true, That's true. Rappers true. cap all the damn time, bro. So you can't start telling rappers now. We can't start talk, uh, uh, we can't start talking about uh, the murders we see in the project. Mm-hmm. I'm what they see in the project because it could be used against me. Mm-hmm. They take uh, they take on personas all the time. Ask call any of a mission friends. Mm-hmm. You think all the songs Erosh writes are about him or things that happened to him? He could literally write a song about a Young Thug situation mm-hmm. if that's what comes to mind. Because yeah. where does this music come from, bro? Yeah. Makes sense. I hear you, especially about the censorship of the art form. Yeah. So and, I'm just okay. saying, take uh-huh. it away. Like, unless it's super clear. Because mm-hmm. again, you cannot prove that because I kill someone and I sing about maybe in one of my verses I kill somebody that I'm talking about that person. Yeah. Okay. Because how do you I, prove I, that, I, bro? I get, I get where you're coming was in from. studio doing whatever they were doing. <laughs> These songs are probably even recorded way back. A lot of the material we hear is mm. material yeah, that has been, been there for a while. That's true. But if the investigation goes back eight years, yeah. So which, which is my is, biggest problem. Mm-hmm. So how many, how many, how many, how many black dead bodies need you to drop need... before we say now? Okay, it's enough evidence. We can take yeah. it to court. Cause yo, I was, I just, I just, um, I just couldn't read. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, so this is the lyric from Mumbi's article. Mm-hmm. So Young Thug says, "I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body." That's one of the lyrics. Okay. Have you out? Okay, so I, I never I never killed anybody, but I got something to do with that body. Mm-hmm. That's the lyric. I never killed nobody. <laughs> <laughs> You're dumb. Yeah. So uh-huh. um um it, it could be synonymous to what their reporting is he's been doing, right? Mm-hmm. But then when you start if if and why this is why this has they have to find a way to stop this. Because Today's young thug, tomorrow is the other rapper, the other the other person, yeah, and then before yeah, you realize, it's a whole com- it's yeah, a whole, things is changing, yeah. and then now how do you control that? That's why I'm saying specifically for music, and I don't know why you can't see this. How, what is different with me rapping about? What is the difference between young thug saying this and me as a writer writing this in my movie? What is the difference? Mm. What what makes you think? A writer who writes the movies mm-hmm. is not killing people of and writing those stories. I get you, Chaxi. So I, when you I, I allow censorship you. to come, especially in art, bro, it's, we are going to be fucked up. Yeah. We can't even come and talk about this story now next time. Because what I told be okay, because you're talking you about it, it, especially you if you support. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Guys, we have to always protect the art. I'm That's serious. True. We have to start looking at it. Because no, what makes you think the writer, because what's the difference between a writer for a movie and a writer for a song? Because yeah, if they're if, writing if, all if of we're them, going to bro. assume it's fictitious, then it, it goes across the board. Yeah. I agree with you. So tomorrow, tomorrow now, 50 Cent, uh, if he's indicted, that is due for, for Nini. It for, will be for, raising for, yeah. Yeah. Power, yeah. So now they'll be like, oh shit. Oh, so... You sell drugs and this is exactly what you have in power. Yes, and then now they start coming from directors and producers. <laughs> it's not a fair comparison, but I hear where you're coming from. This is, yeah, it, like, but it's writing, music. bro. No, no, it's, it's writing. No, like art is art. Art is art, yes, but it's not a fair comparison to compare like a movie to like a song. Why? They're both art forms. And I get, we, <laughs> no, no, why, why, why? <laughs> I know, why? Because movies are fiction. But even my but really art could be fiction. Could be fiction, could be. So you see, like, uh, uh, movies yeah. are 100% fiction, unless they say, like, based on a tree or inspired and, by tree events. And that's what I'm asking. But yeah. even, even music asking could be you. fiction. I mean, Rick Ross is also talking about that he used some chick had his... Had her legs around his waist. <laughs> Bro, Maybe it was a really tall chick. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, fiction, so... Uh, yeah, my question is, maybe you're, you're just looking at the final product you see. Mm-hmm. You know, those words, the way they're said, whatever the actors do, you know that is writing. Yeah. So what's the difference between someone writing a script about killing people mm-hmm. and we actually see people getting killed yeah. and a rapper writing a script about killing people? The difference is in Guinea Besides and a rap, special. in Guinea we look for characters and they actually portray it. So what so makes what you I'm, think the writer is, for the movie was not actually killing people and writing mm-hmm. about actual things? See, if, if the writer for the movie was actually killing people and then they start investigating it, then they find this character was, this, this writer was actually writing about killing people the same way he killed people then they can review his movies to see if there are any more clues. More patterns. You get. So that's what I'm saying. Like, we shouldn't throw it out of the window completely, but it should be evidence first, and then maybe the lyrics can support. Maybe not use it them as like evidence, extra... but could be considered in the investigation. Because you, know, yeah. you know, in the yeah. States already, there's, there's states that already, I think, use. I don't know which ones, yeah. but the states, maybe guys can Google this. So I hear you are not using lyrics as evidence. Specifically but, lyrics. Yeah. Like, but, no, but in they some can cases, guide investigations. Yeah. Bruh, they need to have... 
cuz when when it comes to murder mm-hmm. it's simple you have you must have uh, concrete evidence yeah the evidence has to be beyond reasonable doubt yeah. Yeah. beyond reasonable doubt yeah. so if you have wire tips cuz they do have wire tips yeah. oh and something else i i saw in academics about the whole young tag thing so there's there's one of <laughs> you listen to academics i know <laughs> I do listen to academics. Academics yes. was academics mm. jacked off on life. Mm. That's fine. But bro, you know, one who's a saint, bro. Nah, if academics he's jacked, weird. No, so if he jacked, if he, he did whatever he did on himself and he put it on, he's shitty. Okay, this is okay. The thing. Carry on. Uh-huh. Me, I, I listen to people I don't even necessarily support because mm-hmm. they. If you have I don't, knowledge, I don't agree you have with them. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah. Sense. So I, so I, um so academics says there's um there's someone I think from the YSL mm-hmm. who was in prison, and uh, there's wire tips. Of um, and this is how the police also caught these guys. Mm-hmm. So in prison, of course, people try to sneak in cell phones, ni 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 ni. Mm-hmm. But if you if you are caught with a cell phone, you, they do what they do in movies. You know, you'll be taken away. There's penalties for that. Yeah. Yeah. But so people have cell phones. So um, I think they knew one of the gang members was trying. To, they were trying to get a cell phone into one of the cells. They even they even have. And this is why they, these guys are so dumb. Mm-hmm. And you'll give them the congratulations at some point. <laughs> how? Mm-hmm. Bro, we read about we've seen this in movies. Yeah. How are you a criminal? How do you have criminal activities in 2020, 2021, I'm whatever and you use actual cell phones, registered cell phones to like, communicate yeah, with SIM cards dumb. and everything. Yeah, or like are they banner phones? Like if you are I don't know, but but point is if they have recordings of that, clearly they just want to maybe a telecom company and yeah, like, like, check for me this And when, that's when it, true. there's very few companies that can step up the government and say we can't give you private yeah. data. But when it comes to things like murder, yeah, and they believe, do. Guys, guys can be like, hey, you know. Yeah. They talk so, about Alfred David. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's even like a narration on they were they wanted to fly a drone over prison where mm. one of the gang members was. And deliver like cell phones using a drone. So I think when they realized, when the police realized that mm-hmm. they were trying to get cell phones in, you know what they did? They made it easy for oh. them to get in a cell phone. But what what they didn't know is that cell phone that was going really into them was tapped. Oh god! So that's how they have wire tips, crazy wire tips. And I'm like, bro, how do you, how do you talk about killing people on an actual cell phone? It does not make sense, boy. Yes, yeah, that it's about that time. Exactly. That's the last time we're playing it on this episode. When you kill him, turn him jingle as soon as I left. No, but that's a that's a really cool effect because you don't have to say much. Yeah. yeah. So so this situation is um I'm really keen to see how this unveils. Yeah. And um I don't know how it's coming out, bro. I don't see it. Does it no, because if it I comes saw... out. I saw the lawyer saying that oh at he, he should be released on bond. He's like at all oh, these conditions are humane. I'm like yeah, bro. Is, this is, is, it, jail. is it a white lawyer? He has to get a white lawyer. lawyer. Oh, you get a white lawyer, bro. How do you, you get, get a black a white lawyer? White lawyer. Hey. Ah, but <laughs> the only person who got a black lawyer and got away with it was uh-huh. OJ Simpson back in the day. Well, did, do you think he did it? Of course. Yes. I think he did it, definitely. Yeah. I think he did it. But anyway, so uh, I think we'll wait to see what happens with this whole thing. But it just goes back to something we're speaking about the day we're mm-hmm. talking about Greenwood. Is, um, man... This is, I think it's such a complex issue, but I just believe, like, re- really deeply, mm-hmm. is not not many people, especially in a country as competitive as the states, when it comes to rap, not so many people get the chance to be as successful as Young Thug is. Mm-hmm. And, you know, the way people grow up, especially in the states, is very different. And, you know, do whatever you need to do to survive. Yeah. But when you get to a certain level in life, just leave it behind. Yeah. He was already making enough. Young Thug, yeah. Young yeah, Thug did to do not extra... need to do any of that. I don't think it was about true. the money anyway. I don't. Th- okay, yeah. I think it's just the lifestyle, the yeah. power, the. That comes and who do you leave it behind? When, when, how do you break up a gang? Until now we're done, guys. You don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't break up a gang necessarily, yeah. but then you just um, stop involving yourself in that. Yeah, it's like you know, I... the affiliation doesn't end. You know, if yeah. if I was initiated into a gang when I was young, and that's how I've grown up, the affiliation doesn't have to end. Sure. But also, I don't mm-hmm. have. To you know, I don't have to live. Yeah, like you like know, the, the, the whole discussion of Nipsey is like, mm. if he just avoided going back to the, the project all the time, would he still would be alive till now? True. Probably, yeah. and the answer is probably yes. That's why these guys, the black people, they become successful and go to the hills, bro. It's you simple. Yeah, even Bobby. I I saw some interview um where Bobby was saying like, if you do get a way to get out of the hood, please. Never look back. Yeah. Help. Do whatever you need to go, but like stop. Just don't. Yeah. Like Sanga. Because we've seen it not once. Even, what's the name of the rapper who was shot outside when he was going to buy stuff for the mom? Um, thingy with the yeah. thing is on his forehead. Juicy what's too. his name? Ah, uh, he was from Memphis. Young Dolph, bro. Mm. We've seen this thing happens the same way. Was it fatal? It's, it's, 
Yeah, I yeah, he did on this board. Multiple times. It happens all the time, bro. People become successful. Maybe they move, but they keep going back. Yeah. And one and, and one of the one people who left the gang, they'll you. try. One, one day too, it happens. Because think about most, most of the rappers on Kufawapi. You know, the same, the same story. And you know, we're having this conversation maybe in the catalyst, the previous, before you joined. Mm-hmm. And they're talking about um, a Basque buff mm-hmm. and uh, South, and in a case out. Because yeah. guys felt if a bus left case out when things were beginning to work out, mm-hmm. it would have been a very different scenario. Story, now. That's true. You know, it's like imagine if Octopizo didn't leave Kibera. Unfortunately, yeah. I'm just being honest. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, you can you cannot, it's like you can't change the world if you can't help mm-hmm. yourself first. Yeah. You know. How? Think about it. How? You think you can change the world now if you don't even have money for food, if you're starving? Yeah, it's impossible. All your creativity goes into how do I find my next meal? Nikki yeah. Pata 100, but how do I spread it out so that I cannot go hungry again? Yeah. It's impossible, bro. This is so sad, man. Fuck. This is fucking crazy. I'm a fan yeah. of Young Thug, so this is this sucks. But anyway, we wait and see how this goes. He's going around. Hey, at a perform, man. Guys, Young Thug again. Young Thug again. Man. So do you think Chloe Bailey or Mecha and again? Ah, uh, Chloe is... Hey, Chloe is Also, my, my oh, yeah. guy, the scientist. I don't, I don't know if she's also going to go down. Who? Mariah, the scientist. That's Young Thug's girlfriend. Her name is Mariah, the scientist. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I've okay. been the love cookie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, 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 I don't know how, that, how that's going to go for her. Because of course, yeah. she knows things. Some people ride and die, bro. Oh, if she knows, because she yeah. knows. So the thing is, with the RICO charges, what I read is, if they can prove that you you benefited in any way. Boom. Bro, you bought me a Lambo for my birthday. So now I'm right. going down because you fucking bought me a Lamborghini, bro. But if you can, if you can, prove, if you can prove that you didn't know where the Lambo came from, mm. I'm like, I think the benefit And that's is, not where the snitching yeah. starts. Yeah. Maybe. But who do you think is going? Ask me if I have a big gun. Niggas in a room, niggas will talk. Yeah, niggas will talk, bro. Come on, bro. Do you think this is why... Like for the hip hop community, snitching is such a big deal because yeah. of the gang affiliations. Ah. After Rico, you got now I get it. Wow. Yes, yes, that's why you hear snitches get stitches. Oh, listen, oh yeah, yeah snitches get stitches. If, if, yeah. if we ever go into like a questioning room, I love one to KFC. <laughs> <laughs> Some fried chicken and the big Fanta. He's, he's a ratty. <laughs> and the big Proper. Fanta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 he's a ratty. Damn. Anyway, let's let's uh, still within the same same scenarios. Mm-hmm. Let's bring this home. Unless you have anything else to add on the YSL thing, I feel like yeah. we've. Expanded on the Rico thing, yeah, yeah, and what this painted a picture of what the situation is, yeah. and we'll probably talk about it as we get new information. Ah, mm-hmm. uh-huh. okay. So, um, there's a story I saw this, bro. This happened close to where I live. Crazy. So, there's um uh, three arrested for murder of 19 year old KIMC student Purity Wangeshi. So, huh? Okay. So basically, so I'm, mm-hmm. let me just read what happens, you know, briefly. Yeah. And I'm reading this off uh, Nairobi Gossip. Mm-hmm. Um, so police officers have arrested the suspects behind the murder of 19-year-old. This baby was 19. That's a child. Kenya Institute of Mass Communication student Purity Wangeshi, the mastermind. Oh, fuck, bro. <laughs> Why is this person using my name like this? <laughs> so anyway, the context is different. So the mastermind, mm-hmm. John Wanyoike Kibu, Kibungi, who's 24. Fucking kid, bro. Two of his accomplices were arrested at their hideout in Kirigiti in the wee hours of Sunday morning as they prepared to escape. And uh, huh, so this is what Nairobi gossip. Pre- ah, yeah. So anyway, so according according to the DCI Kenya, you, uh, this is the Twitter page. Mm-hmm. They say uh, they were smoked out of their hide- hideout in Kirigiti in the morning uh, following a manhunt that was launched by a combined team of detectives and general duty police officers based at Kiambu. Mm-hmm. Also arrested were two of his accomplices, Kanaya Kamau and Brandon Mushiri, mm-hmm. uh, who assisted him in killing the 19-year-old college student and disposing her body. Purit Wangeshi's body, which bore visible stab wounds and strangulation marks, was discovered yesterday morning by the roadside close to Mburiria Estate in Kiambu. So Wangeshi had fallen in love with a killer and they had been in a relationship for some time before she discovered that he was a thug. She confronted him about, about it leading to a misunderstanding between the two. She, however, didn't know that her lover was determined to cover his tracks by eliminating her. So on Friday, Wangeshi left the country's premier media institute to meet him in Kirigichi and try to rekindle the dying embers of their once blossoming love. Oh, this is the I'm telling you, hey. 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 you know. just give you the... No, me, so, I hate him. What do you so, 
Class A composition type shit. So she did not know that she was walking into a debt trap. During the early morning raid, the officers also recovered a vegetable knife that was con- carefully concealed in his uh, waistband and which was used in stabbing the innocent teenage student, whose only mistake was falling in love with a thug. The detectives also discovered that the scene of the murder... No, they discovered the scene of the murder and preserved it for forensic examination by crime scene personnel based at the DCI. Meanwhile, the three suspects have been placed in custody for the offense of murder contrary to Section 203, as read with Section whatever, whatever. So anyway, even for these kids... Congratulations. Congratulations. You, you played, played yourself. yourself. They'll never see freedom again, bro. I mean, she like, that, that's, that's, that's unfortunate. Shut up for them. Mm. Hey! But now, I'm just thinking. Um, this is a 19-year-old, bro. Uh, sorry. Nothing. So this is a 19-year-old, murdered by the boyfriend, boyfriend or ex-boyfriend. Mm. Uh, just because maybe... So I'm assuming probably after they arrested these guys, maybe phones, whatever, whatever information they had to get yeah. to understand what was going on. But... Is it, is it ever this serious, bro? Exactly. What what was that guy into, Kwani? That he had to cover his tracks with? That's, what, that's like the same thing you're asking. Because so I'm, I'm like, thinking, uh, if it's, you know, petty things made by, by here, does that need cover-up? You understand? Like, was he murdering people? Was he, you know? How, was dumb, he like, how did, dumb are the two friends also? How do you help someone kill and, and dispose of body? Because you don't know how much information she knows. You could, you know, maybe this guy thinks... Mm-hmm. You know, you know, total information. So it's like, hey, my guys, mm. she might also know about you and you. So, fuck, yeah. So maybe they're in the same gang. Mm-hmm. And maybe the guys who terrorized people. Maybe and maybe it was forceful. Yeah. So if they have records and she knows. I think for them, it's just no face, no case. Yeah. yeah. That's unfortunate, though. Very. It's very unfortunate. And look at their age, bro. So the, 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 the baby's 19, bro. She's in uni, dead. Like, just murdered like that. These kids are 24 years old, bro. Yeah, yeah. I hope she gets justice, man. I, I hope she does I get... Have, yeah, but, but it seems like they have, like, a handful of evidence. Yeah. But let me ask you. Yeah. Is there ever justice when it comes to murder, though? Because you, you can't bring back life. Yeah. No amount, no amount of money can, can sufficiently compensate. Back. It's like, think about someone you really love and care for. How much money would they need to compensate you or their families for yeah. you to feel like this was this, this it's is okay? It's a justification. Yeah. Yeah. True. At least you know it's it's first of all just putting the person behind it behind bars is mostly mm. more or less the biggest thing. Putting them away for life even better. Um, the money maybe goes a long way if the family was struggling. Um, I wouldn't say like they you can you can compensate for human life, mm. but it eases the burden. You know, it eases the, it doesn't bring back things to what they were. Mm. Yeah. But it eases the burden. If maybe the family was struggling mm. or they needed some money to, you know, just continue. I don't know how the courts calculate it or whatever. Exactly. I was just about to yeah. ask that, like, when you say compensation, how yeah. much are we talking? It's never, like, a lot of money. And, and there's no difference between 1 million or 200 million shillings when it comes to, like, a life yeah, of a loved life. one. That's true. And, 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 and if you, the, the family, if you can't afford it, what happens? Mm. If, okay, if the court says now X amount of money, right? So who's supposed to pay the money? The parents of this this I boy. Guess what How does this work? No idea. Please, someone who understands law, or maybe we can we can. <laughs> don't say them. anything. Just <laughs> like, to coach. Ah, don't worry. Next time, next time, let's have the adapter because we'd have yeah, called our lawyer friend. Yeah, yeah. 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 Makes sense. But but yeah. Uh, so where do you guys stand mm-hmm. with the death penalty for murder for for people who are convicted with murder? Just kidding. by convicted, I mean there's been proof beyond reasonable doubt that they actually murdered people. Why do you stand with the death sen- sen- sentence for these people? Does yeah. it fit the crime? Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm always, I'm, all, I'm team death penalty, to be honest. It's an a, eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Mm. It's a gray area for me. It's a gray area. <laughs> if you're comfortable enough to take someone's life, I believe the same should be given back to you. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's, just how I, that's just how I see it. Whew, honestly, uh, huh. have you ever had someone close to you murdered? Not murdered, murdered. Okay, murdered. Yeah. Murder. Has anyone here had someone close to them murdered? You have. Is this something you can talk about? Please pass me the mic. Cause, cause I'm like, um, even when, when, when it comes to like even thieves and nini. When it came, yeah. <laughs> when it came, <laughs> when it came, <laughs> when it came, 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 when it came,
Of course mnajua hiyo anajua. Sijui kwa nini mnani press over us. Of course mnajua hiyo anajua. Ngekwa ni wadi yenye, ngekwa ni wadi yenye sijui mngeni press. Simple words like kim. Same last for best. Sadele mi kwa ngumu. Kama kizungu kwa chat. Yeah, so it was my uncle alikuwa na stay in Mombasa. So like the side chick now. After find out my uncle is married, I'll crack kachoma nyumba and they all died. Both of them. Both of them. So it is a mad suicide. Yeah. Damn. Crime of passion. Mm. Hmm. It was mad. Oh, so, sorry so. for your lost compassion. I was just gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I just had questions. No, no, yeah. I'm terribly sorry for that. But so in this situation what happens? Cuz see again we are apparently properties of the state. Mm. I think no? that's a done deal. And that's that it was it's a case closed that what happens that yeah, it's still ongoing. Nah. It just cuz they've got the guys responsible. Yeah, he's also dead. He gets us just like Jesus. Mm. This is this is this is this is uh yeah, this is crazy bro. I'm just I'm just thinking and also I'm like sometimes I really ask a lot of questions. I'm like so this 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 girl Basically she was just she just loved the wrong person Imagine. literally and then cost you everything it cost her life cost her everything and hmm. I'm just like I'm just wondering what I'm just trying to be in her in her shoes like especially in her final moments you know imagine going to a boyfriend because you have issues just to go trying to, to sort it out yeah. then he yeah. killed you. and then even the, how she, she just killed her bro this, this must have been so painful stabbing you know how, how many times do you need to stab someone until they're dead Okay, can I imagine Maria was like, "Ah, um, so now when it comes to me, stabbing, maybe like it's about the day." Hey, hey, hey. Oh, so, make sure you focus on the nah, I wouldn't know. But I've read stories though if you cut someone on the thigh, they can bleed out. Really? But yeah, you're yeah, not bleeding out until you die. Before before you die, bro. Mm. But how deep does that cut have to be? It has to be super that's deep because I mean, I think it's just like nyama. Mm. The thyroid the, the, the zaka artery up that supplies yeah to the leg, blood to the leg. You know you know where our bias correct. normally kicks in mm-hmm. is when some of these things are very close to you when it happens when it when it hits home yeah, then you start to realize how biased you can be that's yeah. true. like it your perspective on these things just changes you know because bro if someone killed like your parent or my your sibling mm. and you know like you have proof that this is the people Yeah, you know what the bad is going to be bro yeah. <laughs> my yeah. is just killed uh, <laughs> let me listen even if it was somebody that i know who killed somebody else mm. me listen just yeah i think only problem with the death penalty is when sorry that's it oh yeah, 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 yeah. absolutely i'll remember what i wanted to say yeah so there's a there's a story i had uh you know when well, you have a brother uh, you go clubbing at night and then so umsana kuja na anamgonga na gari alafu ana hepa so cctv uh, your club ili ili chukua number plate So those people how can they call police they track the guy monyali speak on the mic speak, speak okay on the yeah, so waka check cctv yako na number plate they track him waka waka mfotadi kejani waka mchukua and then waka na kama mada they killed him yeah well those are two murders now yeah those are two murders now how Congratulations. You played yourself. Everyone on today's episode you is just like now. Ai. <laughs> but hey, okay. But the law is a bit weird. You know like someone like that could get away with it. I think so. No. I'm not too sure. No. 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 You You're only get away with murder take... if self defense. Exactly. Oh, okay. But premeditated if it's premeditated you're done. Yeah. You I cuz that one is is But yes. what if you argue planned, emotional we... distress? You can't, I wasn't no. thinking Mada, then that your case is stopped bro, they take you for you know how easy it would be for someone but even though why that could never cut is do you know how easy it would be for people to just kill people and say emotional distress that's, that's right. why you that can never pass psychiatric evaluation mm. even if they did it's weird premeditated like yo we track this person down one we only we, what all what you had is number plates mm. found out who the car who owns the car maybe tracked where they live Uh, finally got a hold of them and then took them true. away mad mad to at yeah, yeah, you are um, gone you are you're gone, gone. You are gone for, forever is it someone you know as you know snitching on yeah. camera yes. you know, unfortunately just how the law works is yeah. whether it's someone you really care for or regardless of how you feel if it's not self defense yeah. just go to the just, just go, go to the police because yeah. if you, 
if you act yeah. um you know out of the emotion and yeah. you mad at somebody you're also in yeah mm. forever and unfortunately just how the law works <laughs> when it comes to the law it doesn't apply yeah especially when it comes to murder got it <sighs> anyway so there's a another sad story and then you can talk about Kendrick is there's a lady called uh, is it Deborah or Deborah Deborah. Samuel from Sokoto in Nigeria. Maria, please tell us this story. Um, so from what I understand, this girl, um, she's a Christian girl, by the way. Mm. So they have this WhatsApp group, um, like a school WhatsApp group, right? So basically, um, so of course, you know, it's a mix of both Christians and Muslims. That's normal school. So you love everyone. In the group, it's like these Muslims sort of like were taking over the group. And she kept insisting like, Uh, cool like i understand you guys are very passionate about your religion and whatever but can we stick to the main purpose of the group, the group and yeah. it's to share educational information so anywho as they keep going keep going so of course you, know, you you just know how you know students can be so it became like a whole altercation kwa group and as these guys i even forgot to tell you that so as they were going she said anyway i understand that allah helps you guys and whatever and whatever but even me it's jesus who helps me to pass my exams. So these guys were like, oh, blasphemy against Allah. Da, 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 da. Can you apologize? She says, I'm not going to take what I said back. What I said, what I said. Please tell me why these guys tracked her, found her. To, literally, I think they even, like while Limstone and Daniel Shule. And they lynched her? Yeah. They stoned her and stoned her. So when they noticed, like, she's already, like, out of it, they touched her. Yeah. Zindo vitu zinaniachanga too speechless. You know it's um, it's just crazy how how far we can it's the same when when we're having the conversation on religion it almost feels like um, the humanity is taken away when religion comes into play. Very mm-hmm. true. Because how do you explain killing someone mm-hmm. to protect Allah? Allah does not need your protection, bra. True. Isn't Allah the greatest? Or see, Allah, God yeah. is used to me, yeah. the, the supernatural being, whoever you serve. Yeah. I don't think there's any justification for, for that. religious no violence in any way. Whatever religion you have, Amma, you follow, believe in, there's no need to... Because I believe, I mean, actually, I think the main message in the Bible and the Quran is you're supposed to love your brother. Yeah. And he clearly says if, you, he says, if you don't love your brother and you claim that you love Allah, you love God, mm. that's a lie. Mm. So if you can take your Christian or your Muslim's brother's life and claim that you're doing it for Allah, mm. it beats the point. Na mimi na ulizanga tu watu. Huyu Allah ama this God. When does he or she or they mm. ask normal human beings me? like me and you to protect to do such in his honor? Yeah. That's true. Makes, well, really, it makes no sense. Because I think all religions are they, they, they preach love. The yeah. message is more or less the It's same. It's always across. about love. Yeah. Love humanity. Mm. We are human beings before we are anything. How do you beat? Wait, Stephen Obebo le listoni wa juanini? Um, because he was he was a martyr. Like he died because he had faith ah. in God. Yeah. Oh. I didn't know, bro. Well, Ugandans have World Martyr Day, by the way. Yeah. yeah. They have for that story. Mm. I forgot what the, the I forgot what what happened, but I but yeah. to listen to somewhere. Mm. So um honestly if you ask me and someone corrected us mm-hmm. we didn't mean to say we'd like for a country to be an atheist, atheist state, state should be a secular, secular state because yeah. atheism is already not neutral because yeah. atheism also is belief on there's no god there's no but it's but it's still yeah. a belief secular that there's yeah you know yeah. Uh, yeah and until i think i think until you get to that level because think about this isn't it absurd that kenya is a christian can it's a christian nation when you have a lot of muslims you have indians you have people who don't believe so how 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 are we being an inclusive state if already based on the fundamentals and you know how how sensitive the topics like religion are yeah. so how how are we an inclusive state if already we are saying we're a christian state or we're a muslim that state that i know we have a long state way to go, go. i know That's but true. but you see now if you make states um secular yeah. then such cases will never bro they will never be entertained and mm. it will be 
it would be such a big deal for such things to happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But then un- until people feel entitled that, oh, you know, we are in a Christian state, so you Muslims can't tell us anything. Actually, you are in our state. Mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, bro. It becomes a deep, what do you more mean? difficult conversation. It becomes a very difficult I've conversation. Read even, I've read the article on BBC on the story. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had it in Pigeon. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's so hard to read. Oh, Wait oh, days, you Wait days. Hey. So. <laughs> yeah, so, but I was reading it and I was saying the amount of misinformation that's going on now. Because mm. no, no, uh, it becomes now a religious conversation. Yeah. Um, a religion conversation. The school hasn't released a statement or done anything so far, as per the recording of this um, episode. Mm. Um, there's a lot of fake news pages on on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, of on course, TikTok. Of course, bound to happen. Just making the situation worse. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure the kids in that school are traumatized. I don't yeah. know if some of them will drop out. It becomes like a bigger thing than it is. Mm. Ah, that's unfortunate. <sighs> Man, may, may she rest in peace, bro. Uh, this is so sad. I hope we don't see this again, but you know. Mm. We will definitely see a bunch of this nonsense. How long have you done? An hour plus? Yeah. No. Another 13 minutes. Okay. So, so good, yeah. do we do uh, another minisode? <laughs> We're ending this on a sad note. We have... It's, which is fine. Uh-huh. We have we have Kendrick to discuss. We have Expressway and how there's been traffic today yeah. on the Expressway to discuss. <laughs> and how much it costs. <laughs> so what do you guys feel? Yeah. Me, I'm, me, I'm team, me, yeah, me, I'm team, team Minnesota. Team Minnesota. Episode All right. 13. Yeah. 5. Episode 13, <laughs> Mic Check Podcast. Thank you. Over 26. <laughs> this is the Burger Podcast. Yes, it's the Crunch Club. Over 26. Over 26. Welcome back to the Burger Podcast. The Mic's Archive. Now, when you watch it, you'll understand. <laughs>